What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can protect ourselves against ransomware now ransomware itself is not too bad but them crypto type ransomware are pretty nasty where they uh, lock your system down and encrypt all your files and it can be pretty nasty when that happens to you so Malwarebytes have come up with this option which is called Malwarebytes anti-ransomware it's in beta at the moment uh, but it runs in the background as a real-time protection and it will protect your system from ransomware now I don't know whether it's the be all and end all for ransomware but um, we'll take a look at it in action as you can see we've got the quarantine area here which will quarantine the ransomware we've got the restore delete and delete all and we've got the exclusions area here as well and you can add files in and remove them as well and you can also clear the exclusions here so what I'm going to do is test this with some of the most common ransomwares out there and these are live examples and we'll give this a, a test and see how it goes so what we're going to do is open up process explorer so we can see uh, the payload execute on the system and we can see it running and then what we're going to do is click on the actual ransom itself and let it uh, execute and see how it happens to protect our system uh, live right now so as you can see here we've got the uh, both programs open here and uh, it's clear and running smooth at the moment so what I'm going to do is click on one of these ransomwares here and uh, see what happens now these are different types of ransomwares that I'm trying I'm trying all different variants of it and as you can see straight away uh, the anti anti ransomware program has stopped it now you can see my logo in the way there a little bit um, but it has actually blocked that from uh, running and executing now I've got some data on my desktop here uh, which I'm hoping to protect and you can see here when we click on the quarantine you can see what it's done it's actually blocked a lot of this uh, information from being uh, changed on the system so it's quarantined this area now as I said if this was to inject itself onto the computer right now everything would start to be encrypted and uh, you would lose all your data it would be then encrypted and you would have to either pay their ransom or try and find a way to decrypt uh, the content now sometimes decrypting the content is not as easy as it sounds um, because obviously uh, there's not always a decryption for these types of uh, ransomwares as you can see now you can see the file uh, there where it's uh, loading into you can see it's loaded into the C root directory and there's a folder there and there's a file in there but it's blocked that file we'll take a look at that in a second and you can also see in the roaming uh, folder there, there there's a the, an identical file now you can see my data is still undecrypted it's not uh, decrypted as such it's all in a folder all there sitting nicely I've got programs in there text files music files and images everything is fine right now so Malwarebytes anti-ransomware has stopped that from happening which is a uh, what it's supposed to do so let's take a quick look at the uh, folder that is in question here and we'll see if there's anything inside there you can see the folder here and you can see it's absolutely clean there's nothing been dropped onto the system so that's done a really good job at blocking that ransom from executing and being put onto the system now how successful this is against every single type of uh, crypto ransomware out there is to be seen in the future but this is in beta uh, but all the ones I tested it done a very good job so we're going to close that off and now we're going to restart the system and to restart the system what that's going to do is then remove all the remnants of those files and get rid of it from the system so we'll quickly restart this system now once you've got this restarted if this did happen to you I'd advise you to uh, make sure that the system is fully cleaned and uh, make sure you run other scans as well just to make sure so we're going to try and inject another piece of uh, ransomware on the system and let's try another one and I'm just going to click this and see if it injects I've tried two at the same time here and you can see what straight away it's blocked that from running on the system 
and you can see the uh, files in there the both of the files are running in process explorer there but you can see uh, the anti ransomware program has actually blocked that from running so we'll take a look at the quarantined area here as you can see so it's done a really good job at blocking that and we'll see if it's uh, encrypted some of the files in a second so now this window pops up I'm just going to say yes to that and now we can see some windows opening up again with this shadow copier pops up and also we now have a window uh, popping up from the browser which is to do with the ransomware as you can see here so a couple of little bits have come through but not the actual encryption part so you can see here we've got a document here saying your files are uh, encrypted and so on uh, but I'll close this off and we'll take a look at some of our data in a second to see whether it's actually blocked that completely so we'll close this off you can see it's doing some uh, links here I'm not sure what this file is I think it's to do with the uh, ransom itself so we'll close that off and let's take a look at the data see if the data has been encrypted and it hasn't it's still the same so that's a good sign so it hasn't uh, managed to encrypt my data so I'm going to close this off and restart the system and let it remove this ransomware from the system and that's important that you do reboot the system because that's when it needs to remove all them files uh, from there so we're just going to quickly restart again let this load up and as you can see here we're back at the desktop so now we'll take a look at the anti-ransomware program again and have a look at these files as you can see here it did a great job at blocking both of those that I clicked on uh, and stopped them from injecting themselves onto the computer here it quarantined them straight away which is a really good thing and also saved my data so now we can delete all of these and remove all these from the quarantine area just delete those and what I want to do here now is I want to try to do one more uh, ransom for you so we'll, we'll try and uh, do one more ransom and see how that goes but you can see here there's a couple of little files on the desktop which aren't any problem they're just the actual JPEG there which would have been displayed uh, my data is still safe which is the most important part as you can see here it's still okay and what we're going to do here is we'll try to do one more ransom here and there's also an edge file I can see down there which is uh, probably just a display of some instructions of what to do to get your data back but we'll take a look at process explorer here now I've clicked on to that ransom there and see whether it gets onto the system I can see it running here and uh, it's not doing too much at the moment but when it starts to do its thing you will see the CPU start to climb and uh, we'll leave this running for a second to see whether it gets blocked and uh, now you can see the uh, CPU now starting to rise so it's doing something and you can see some files being dropped and then all of a sudden we get this little image at the bottom right hand corner here and uh, the Malwarebytes anti-ransomware program has blocked that from being installed onto the system so it's given us this little box here so we'll click on this and there's a little bit of a encryption file there I can see so that would need to be taken care of but it has let's see if it's actually blocked blocked it from encrypting all of our files and our data 
so we can see here if we look at the quarantine area it's actually stopped that from getting onto the system now don't worry about the little JPEGs and stuff like that that's they're not going to be bothering the computer at all it's the actual main payload that's going to encrypt all your files and it stopped all of that as you can see so if we close this now it's going to want to restart to do its thing so we're going to say yes to this and restart the system quickly so it can delete all of these uh, files so we'll just quickly reboot the system again back to the desktop and can delete that other stuff from the quarantine list here now you can still see that pop-up box popping up here and okay and that's easy enough to fix so the main thing is has it protected our data that's what we need to take a look at and you can see this other file that's been dropped on the system here uh, this is just some instructions to how to get your data back assuming that you have been encrypted this is what they do some details there you can see here the data is still fine it hasn't been encrypted so it's done its job it's blocked that from uh, encrypting all my data now you may need to still do some work and uh, remove some little remnants here so I'm going to delete these off the system and then we're going to take a, a little look at some of the other stuff here as you can see here we've got some bits and pieces that we need to remove uh, from the computer here but all in all the uh, system is clean and it's actually stopped that from getting on the system so I'm just going to delete this sort of stuff and delete the JPEG here I don't need that stuff at all and this other file and obviously you would go through the system with a fine tooth comb and get rid of all your stuff that uh, you don't want on there if there's any remnants on there run some scans with Hitman Pro and Malwarebytes and a few other tools and maybe even back up your data and wipe the system if you feel safe uh, safer doing that that's what I would probably recommend uh, just to make sure uh, but as long as all your data is safe that's the main thing just going to give a, a Malwarebytes a quick run here and uh, we'll see what this comes up with it shouldn't find anything on the system apart from uh, maybe a couple of bits of remnants from programs that I've installed as you can see here there's nothing here that's the recycle bin so there's nothing to worry about too much because there's nothing to do with uh, ransomwares there so as you can see that's come up clean but again I would run other programs and make sure that the system is fully cleaned if you've had this sort of uh, pop up popping up saying that you've had ransomware on the system it's better to be safe than sorry and as you can see all the data is still safe so I'm going to wrap this video up so I think that's been a pretty good test and a very good job from Malwarebytes so uh, they've been obviously working very hard over there my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos if you've got any video requests or any problems with your computers or, or anything like that then you can head over to my forums the information is on the screen right now it's free to join it doesn't cost you a penny become part of the community and join up over there if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page then that's easy enough to do you just go to the uh, web link on the screen right there and just hit the uh, join and it doesn't cost you a penny either so thanks again for watching have a great weekend bye for now